Hello, this is Eric with Corgi USA. We've got Joey on the camera. Today we're going to be doing a zero hub assembly on an EM9550+. Uh, this is typically done after the three spin calibration. It removes any variances in the spindle and or hub assembly. First thing you're going to want to do is grab the wheel that you utilized for your three spin, which is a typically a steel or aluminum rim, uh, 15, 16, 17 inches in diameter, um, with a tire mounted that has minimal imbalance. Um, we're going to go on ahead and locate the threaded hole on the spindle assembly here. There is a threaded hole that is slightly milled. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this tire is loose, which I've already done. I'm going to take the valve stem and I'm going to align this valve stem to that hole to the best of our abilities. And then from there I'm going to lock it. It does not matter where it is in rotation at this point as long as that valve stem is lined up with that machined hole. We're going to go on ahead and press and hold on the menu B button. Now keep in mind that if you press it just once, you'll gain all these icons and it will not show these three icons. So if you press and hold, it will gain access to those three. If we try to go into the menu and hold it, it does not work. So we have to escape, press and hold. It's three pages with a backwards arrow. Now we've got these three additional icons. I'm gonna to go to the wrench and screwdriver, press enter. I'm going to scroll down until I get to ENC, which is encoder. Press enter. And I'm going to spin this hub assembly until I get to zero. Now keep in mind that if you get an A7 error, just spin the hub assembly a few times and your numbers will come back up. One direction will count up, one direction will count down. So we're going to get down to zero. Once we are at zero, I'm going to press stop key to hold it the brake locks. I'm going to press and hold the wheel dimension key. Now it says GRP with a zero. It's basically telling me that it would make it wants me to make sure that that valve stem is oriented to the machined hole, which we've already done. I'm going to go ahead and close the hood. At this point, we're going to want to raise the hood. We're going to want to rotate this 180 degrees. So I've got my finger on the machined hole with the valve stem. I'm going to loosen this. I'm going to bring this 180 degrees. Now what's nice is 180 degrees, there is a hole already on the spindle that is not machined. So I'm going to line it up with that. So now that the wheel is mounted 180 degrees from the machined hole, it says GRP 180. We're going to go ahead and close the hood. There is no confirmation other than a beep, and it returns back to its positioning on the spindle. At this point, you can press the escape key. You can get access back to the main screen and your spindle is now completely calibrated.